Hey guys, welcome back or welcome if this is your first time here. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about all of my current favorites, all the things that I have been loving in the month of June. It's a little bit of late night filming. I'm sipping on my tea. And I really hope that you guys will enjoy this video. So if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe down below and give the video a thumbs up if you do enjoy it. So my first favorite this month, I am so excited about because I have these jewelry pieces from Ana Luisa. I'm sure you guys have heard of Ana Luisa and I've just been hearing about them more and more recently. So I'm really excited to say that this portion of today's video is sponsored by Ana Luisa, which is so exciting. I can't believe I get opportunities like this, you guys. It's amazing. I'm gonna show you guys the pieces that I have, but I did wanna say a few things about the brand overall because I know that these are things that affect different people. Number one, they ship worldwide, so you don't have to worry about not being able to get them if you're in certain countries. And also, they're a very sustainable brand, so you know that you can trust the products, the quality. And I personally really love real, authentic jewelry. I've been getting into that, and quality is very important to me. The other great thing is that their pieces start at $39, which is really good for really good quality jewelry. And they also have sales and discounts as well, which I'm gonna get into that in a minute. But first, let me show you the pieces that I have. So the necklace that I'm wearing is the Rebecca Moonstone Pendant Necklace. I am in love with this necklace. I have not worn another necklace since I've gotten it. And I'm gonna have a hard time wearing anything else because I just think this is absolutely so beautiful. I personally love dainty, like fine jewelry and gold jewelry is my favorite. So this is like the perfect thing for me. I also love Moonstone. It's one of my favorite like gemstones. And then the earrings that I have on are these very dainty little hoops and they're called the Frida Pearl Huggy Hoops. They have these really beautiful little pearls on them. I just love the shape and they're very just dainty and pretty and so feminine and classy, I think. And then I also have another pair of earrings that I'm not wearing right now. And these are the Michelle Gold Coin Hoops. They look like this, and these ones I have worn a ton, you guys. I've gotten so many compliments on these, and I love that they're bigger if I want something a little bit more statement. All of their jewelry, when you order it, each piece comes in this really adorable little velvet bag with a snap, and it has the Ana Luisa logo right here. You can reuse this for when you're traveling or just to store your pieces in here, whatever you want. And in my opinion, jewelry is such a perfect gift to get for somebody in your life or just if you wanna treat yourself. So if you are interested in any of the pieces that I have here or anything else from their website, they have so many options, then you can use the link down below in the description box. I do have a discount code with them. It is Tabitha Gingrich 10. I'll have it on the screen and in the description box if you wanna get 10% off of your order. But right now, they're actually doing a summer sale and it is 20% off of their entire website. So it's definitely a steal. I would hop on that right now, but I will have my discount code in the description box for you guys if you are watching this video later on. And yeah, I really think that you guys are gonna love them. So very appreciative to Ana Luisa for reaching out to me and wanting to work with me on this video. And let's go ahead and get into the rest of the favorites. I need some more tea. You guys know I always talk about a fashion or clothing piece in my videos. And I do have a couple here to share with you guys. The first thing is actually a bathing suit. I'm gonna hold it up for you guys, but I'm not gonna try it on for this video. This is a Toluca Swim bathing suit. If you haven't heard of Toluca Swim, it is Whitney Simmons swimsuit brand that she does with some friends. If you don't know who that is, she has a fitness channel here on YouTube and she's amazing. I love her so much, but these are really, really good quality swimsuits. This is the one piece. I'm not sure what the name of this is, but it'll be linked down below. It's like their maxi one piece or something. It has this really cool like tie that you can put around your waist. So it's really, really flattering here. And that's one of my favorite things about this bathing suit. I have not found a bathing suit that I love on myself since I was a teenager. And this is the first bathing suit that I've worn that I felt 100% confident in and like it fit me in all the right places. And again, I just love this tie around the waist. I think it makes it really, really flattering. And all the cuts are perfect. I love that it has a little bit of a lower back, like a V-neck front, but it's not super low. The coverage on the back is good but it's not like diaperish. It's like a nice medium and it's just a really comfortable, super soft, very good quality bathing suit. 
This is their ribbed material and I think the color is clay something. It's like this burnt brick sort of orangish color and I just think it's so nice. I love this bathing suit. Those straps are really wide so it does give you really good support. And I have a size medium here. Yeah, I really, really love this bathing suit. I just think it's totally worth it to spend extra money on a really good quality bathing suit. It's so important to me now. Um, and the next fashion favorite is a pair of sandals. So these are like the super popular sort of like Birkenstock looking sandals. I got these at Target. I love that they have this kind of leather color to them. I haven't worn them a ton yet, so I still am kind of breaking them in. But so far, they're definitely comfortable for shoes I haven't completely broken in yet. Usually it takes me a while and sometimes they're very uncomfortable, but these aren't bad. They fit my feet really well. I just feel like... They look really cute with a lot of stuff. Like I said, I've been wanting sandals like this for so long. And for some reason, I just never went out and bought them. Now I have some and I'm really excited about it. So I usually wear between a seven, seven and a half. I have seven in these because I wanted them to be a little bit more snug just so that they don't slip off my feet because that's kind of what I find with sandals that don't have a back on them. But then if you do size down and they're too tight, you could like loosen these straps which is what I did for my right foot because my right foot is bigger than my left foot and then also I broke one of my toes a couple months ago so it's extra sensitive um but anyways just rambling for no reason this is kind of random I have a deodorant to share with you and surprise surprise it's not native or schmitz I'm really picky about my deodorant because I use natural aluminum free deodorant but i've been hearing people talk about this old spice deodorant in the aluminum free version because they do have an aluminum free line now and i was a little bit skeptical about it because i thought that it might not be like as natural as my other ones and honestly it's probably not but it's aluminum free it's not an antiperspirant so i feel like it's that's where the damage really comes in like regular deodorants is that they're antiperspirants and they have aluminum. This one doesn't have that. So I feel comfortable using this. And it is like a men's deodorant in the scent Fiji. Um, the scent is nice. It's just like a fresh, clean, cologne sort of like summer scent. But the scent isn't really like my favorite ever. I just got it on Amazon. So I just got what they had. The reason I love this so much is because it, it looks blue, but it's actually like a clear deodorant. When you put it on, it's like a gel formula. It's really cooling and it just goes on so smooth and doesn't leave white marks on your clothes. This is the deodorant that I use when I'm going out and I really want to like be fresh and like smelling good and I want it to last. Just because I feel like, even though I think Native is really good, sometimes I feel like I have to reapply re a decent amount. And I love Native Scents, I love the formula. And even though I do wear that one out as well, lately I've been wearing the Native more at home or when I'm not really like doing anything for the full day. And then I'll wear this one when I want to like go out for the whole day or it's like super hot and I want my deodorant to really last because this lasts super well. It keeps you fresh and it doesn't leave like the white marks on your clothes because it is that clear formula, which I absolutely love. So Old Spice Aluminum Free, definitely check them out. If you're interested in trying an aluminum free deodorant or a deodorant that's not an antiperspirant, but you want something that's really gonna last and be really good. Old Spice is where it's at. The next thing I have here is a home product. And I talked in, was it my last favorites video or the one before that about the Hearth and Hand Magnolia Collection candle in, what was it called? Sunshine something, I'm not exactly sure. I love that candle though. But my other favorite from the Hearth and Hand Collection is this Coastal Sage scent. And I have the little candle of this, as well as the reed diffuser, the oil uh, diffuser. And this scent is so fresh and oceany and beachy and salty. It's amazing. I absolutely love the scent of this for like a home scent in the summer. And I am very picky about summer candles because I don't really gravitate towards them. But I've been finding some this year that I really like. And this is one of them. The only thing I have to say about this is that the scent throw isn't phenomenal. I know I only have the mini, but honestly, the re-diffuser isn't insane either. So I just keep this by my door so you can smell it when you walk in the door. Just because the scent is so good that even though the throw on both of these isn't phenomenal it's worth it to me because if you just put it like by your doorway or where people will smell it right when they walk in it's like such a nice scent it's just it's so good next let's talk about a hair product this is the heritage brand 
strength training leave-in conditioner pudding. So I did a whole video on the Heritage products, not all of them, but I did review some of them in a video and that is on my wavy curly playlist. You guys know that's where all of my hair videos are. So you can go check that out there if you want to, but out of all the products that I tried in that video, this is the one that I've been reusing the most. I just love a really good leave-in conditioner and this one is really like a pudding-y type product. It's just so creamy and I feel like it really does help with like the hold of my waves. And so I definitely recommend this because this is a super affordable brand. They have it at Walmart and it's very easy to get your hands on. So Heritage Leave-In Conditioner Pudding is something that I've been really enjoying lately. And also their packaging is so cute for affordable stuff. I definitely wanna try more of their products. I definitely felt like it was hit or miss with these though, because some of them I was kind of eh about. And then a couple of them I really liked. I also liked the texturizing spray, but I have to keep trying that one out. This one I have gotten to test out enough and I really, really like it. Another random little hair thing is this gold claw. I thought this was so cool when I saw it on Amazon. It's from the brand Kitsch, I think. If you guys have seen that like Kitsch hair towel that people use, it's that brand, I believe, but I got it on Amazon. It was like $5 for this really, really cute gold clip. Let me get in so you guys can see. It's like literally just a metal claw and it's so pretty and classy looking. You can dress it up or down and the only reason I'm not wearing it right now is because I wanted to show it in this video, but I just think this is so cute. But the main reason I bought this was because I wanted a claw clip for like half up, half down looks. I thought it'd be really cute to just like take the top half of my hair, twist it up and then clip this in because my other claws are a little bit big for that and it looks a little bit like overwhelming. So I figured this would be really cute for that. And I just, I love it. Let's get into something else. I actually wanna share with you guys my Nespresso pods that I've been loving. Um, I have been using my Nespresso machine religiously. That should be a favorite in this video because I'm obsessed with it. It's just so easy to use and it makes such amazing espresso and coffee, like way better than my other espresso machine that I had. And it's like way easier to use, but these are the double espresso Skiro pods. So it's like a double espresso shot and I'll have these ones linked down below. I got like a three or four pack on Amazon and I have this every day, so I do go through them pretty quickly, but I think it's totally worth it. I love these ones. There's other pods from them I like, but I think these are my favorite espresso ones, the double espresso Skiro. So if you like a double shot in the morning and you have an espresso machine, this is where it's at. And then another random little snack favorite, the Smart Sweets, you guys. I have been obsessed with these, and now that I know I can buy them at Target, it never ends. Um, I don't really buy them online that much because you have to buy like a ton at once and usually you have to buy like one kind. But I might start doing that now since I discovered this flavor. These are the peach rings. And you guys, I don't even like peach rings. Like regular candy, peach rings are like my least favorite. And I love gummy and fruity candies. Like they're my favorite type of candy. So I have like, I know which ones I love and I know which ones I don't like. And peach rings are ones I don't like. But these, you guys, these are so good. The powder on these is like a little bit sour and they're really like chewy, but they're not so chewy. Like the sour patch ones that they get like really stuck in your teeth. I've had them enough now where I've like analyzed what I like and don't like. I also also really like the like the red twists that are kind of like Twizzlers. Those ones are really good as well. Um, these I think are my favorite. Honestly, I like all of them. My least favorite are the gummy bears, but I think those are still good if you want like a sweet treat. But these are just so much better for you than regular gummy candy. Three grams of sugar in these and there's 100 calories in one bag. So it's definitely much healthier for you. And I do think it is cheaper if you get them at Target and you can get like whatever flavor you want. You don't have to buy a ton of one kind. I'm not gonna keep rambling about these, but smart sweets, that's all I have to say if you are trying to be healthier and you love you some good gummy candy. Okay, let's talk about my perfume favorite of the month. So this is KKW, yes, KKW, Crystal Violet Musk. I picked this perfume up on Mercari, which is like an app where you can buy like people's used things because I didn't wanna spend the full price on it because I just didn't know how I was gonna love it. But I ended up, absolutely loving this perfume. This actually doesn't have violet in it, even though it's called Crystal Violet Musk. It's lavender that's in here. And this is like a lavender marshmallow as Stephanie Letta describes it. It's like 
fluffy and musky, a little bit sweet. I just love this. I would love this in like a candle too, honestly, but don't let that throw you off because it's definitely a perfume wear on your body type of scent, but it's not overpowering. It's so just pretty and it's a great everyday scent. You could also wear this to bed if you like calming fragrances because this has like a comforting quality about it. But yeah, honestly, like I said, I agree with Stephanie Letta. It smells like a lavender marshmallow in the best way, in a feminine perfumey way. That is KKW Crystal Violet Musk. I love this, you guys. This is like one of my favorite new perfumes. Then I have a body cream to talk about. So this is from Bath & Body Works and this is their Kaleidoscope Body Cream. I don't usually use Bath & Body Works body creams. I use the body mists, but I don't usually use like this type of body care. I like something a little bit more high-end usually or like more natural, whatever. But this scent is just so nice. And this is such a light body cream. It's perfect to layer this with fragrances if you want them to last longer. I can't even describe what this smells like to be honest. It just sort of smells like clean skin. It's very hard for me to describe. It's just like a nice everyday scent. It's nothing crazy, but I really like layering fragrances over top of this one. All right, you guys, we are gonna finish this video off with a couple of makeup favorites. I just wanna mention these quickly because I have talked about them before, but they are just things that I've been using consistently lately. So the first thing is this Kosas Cloud Set powder and this is in the shade breezy this was highly raved about by jamie page and she got a lot of other people onto it it's supposed to be like a very light like smoothing powder that when you wear it doesn't really look like you have powder on your face i have to agree with that this powder looks very skin like it's very just like smooth and i don't i wouldn't say that it's like a poreless smoothing primer but it does make your skin look nice and I have been reaching for this one a lot lately. It's not like a super pigmented powder, so the shade you get isn't that important. Just something sort of close to your skin tone. This is what it looks like. Definitely looks a little washed out on camera, but the thing I like about this powder is what I said basically, that it looks very skin-like and natural on the skin. And I think you would really, really like this if you have dry skin. For me personally, my under eyes do crease pretty easily. And so I don't find that this one is like the best when it comes to like crease resistance but for me like that is really hard to find anyways and i still like to wear this one i don't go for it all the time sometimes if i'm going to be like out for the entire day and i want my makeup to like stick this isn't the one i'm grabbing for but i like this for every day and like i said i think if you have dry skin or you don't crease really easily this would be a really really nice powder because it just looks so natural on the skin so that is why i keep reaching for it even though it's not the most crease resistant next let's talk about like a tinted lip balm i guess this is the glow recipe lip pop this actually feels almost like it has like a chemical exfoliant in it i'm not 100 percent sure if it does but it kind of has the slightest tingle and it makes your lips feel really really soft after a bit um but it's nothing crazy or like really strong or anything like that this one my favorite thing about it honestly is the scent it smells like watermelon candy like sour patch watermelons it smells so good and it like taste you can kind of taste it when you're putting it on but then also this one it leaves the most beautiful natural tint on your lips nothing looks as natural like i've had people be like wow your lips look like really pigmented or like pink and it looks like your lips naturally look like that like it doesn't look like you have anything on them they just naturally look pigmented even though this is a really bright pink color it doesn't make your lips look like that your lips just look natural and pretty it feels really nice it tastes really good it smells really good and it's just a really nice product you don't want to get this all like around your lips because it is a little bit tinted so it's going to look kind of crazy on your skin because it is this pink color but on the lips it just looks so natural and pretty i love it so then the last product here that i have to share with you guys is a primer this is the rare beauty what's it called pore diffusing primer and wow, I love this packaging. All the packaging of this stuff is just so cute. But this is like a smoothing primer, but it's like a gel formula almost to where it feels really hydrating and cooling on the skin. And it doesn't feel like that typical like silicone pore filling primer. I don't think this has silicone in it. It's just like a gel cooling, slightly smoothing primer. This is the only primer that I use currently. And it's the only primer I've used in a really long time, to be honest. I don't really use primer. I use moisturizer. 
or like a nice prepping base like that. I just, I kind of don't really believe in primer anymore, but this one is super nice and I really, really like it. So like I said, this is the only primer I use and I think it is really, really good. That is the Rare Beauty Pore Diffusing Primer. And I think that would still work really great for you even if you have dry skin. So that is all my favorites for the month of June. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much again to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. Like I said, you guys, if you're interested, don't forget to click the link in the description box and get a really great discount on some beautiful jewelry. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye.